Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play the Elder Scrolls Arena. Last time, I got myself that tablet the wizard was looking for in that one dungeon whose name I already forgot. Some sort of temple. And this tablet should decipher some of the Elder Scrolls, which will lead us to the Halls of Colossus. I sure did. Ah, I killed him. True remain gets the feather pen and appears intently at the tap. Right. So now we know where the Halls of Colossus are, and uh, I'll tell you what right now, I have been dreading this area. And uh, once I get there, I'll explain. So I've already done my preparations off screen, so I'll just go straight there. Halls of Colossus. Oh, this place. Halls of Colossus, you stand before the gigantic walls of the Halls of Colossus, built by giants in, the age long, in an age long past. Well, they exist again in Skyrim, unfortunately. <laughs> the wind echoes mournfully through the empty battlements. Here lies the fourth piece of the Staff of Chaos. Yeah, if you played Skyrim, you probably had a moment you came across a giant when you first started playing. Oh, I could totally take this guy on. Smack, dead. Happened to me, anyway. Oh, hello there. Hmm. How did this guy find his way here? I mean, this isn't a, an old corpse. Oh well. He's no nothing more than a treasure pile now. Okay. So let me tell you about this area. This area has three levels. The first level, the one we're on, is gigantic and mazy. Probably the maziest part of this whole dungeon. Not just for the fact that it has all sorts of halls and twists and turns, but because of what you find on the second level. On the second level, there are uh, seven doors that lead upstairs, and one door that leads to the third level. It's a fairly small area. There's nothing there except for the doors, but the thing is, there are certain parts of this first floor that can only be reached by going down and then going up another door there. That's not the only problem. On the second floor as well are a ton of locked doors. And in order to unlock these doors, you have to find all the keys that are in here. Well, not specifically all of them, because there are certain types of keys that have duplicates that you can run into instead. But still, they're a pain in the butt to find, because you have to scour this whole area. And if you happen to miss a key, then you'll just have to keep looking around until you find it, because they can be hard to see. If you do have the artifact, the uh, if you do have the skeleton's key artifact, then you can just get through this area pretty easy, no problem. But what fun would that be? I'm gonna show you what you need to do, and most of this is going to be fast forwarded. I'll make sure to stop and talk at parts. Oh, sorry, just had some Carl's Jr. I'll make sure to stop and talk at parts where. Uh, you know, where I find the keys and show it on the map where they are, but for the most part, you're just going to see a lot of fast forwarding and some awesome music. So, alright, let me get my bearings here. So, away we go. is right here. This is where I came from. Head straight north. There are two uh, hidden doors right here. And the key is right here. So we get the gold key. Alright, next. Oh, let's uh... Oh, so that's how you the clue to find the first key. I think there are clues to find each key, but yeah. So anyway, on to the next key.
right, the next key. So the entrance is right here. I just went through here, and here it is. And this one is the... Is the... Iron key. All right, next. <laughs> second level and there are rats everywhere okay, let me use let me get out my mark of light and light this area up there we go so yeah, you just have this huge empty hallway. And rats everywhere. And there's pretty much nothing in here. Except for emptiness and rats. And these are the doors you have to uh, use keys for. There's a door, and then another door, then another door. There's like... I forget how many, but we'll figure out in a second. But yeah, and uh, to get upstairs, you see these uh, doors on the side. There's three on the north wall, three on the south wall, and one on the west wall. And they all lead back up to different parts of the upper level. So let's see. We're good to go. Actually, no, the... Okay, so yeah, that's where the uh, locked doors are. To the east is where you can go up, and then up here, and then down here. And it's hard to fill this area in. Alright. So the door I want to enter now is, I believe... Oh, what else is here? Oh, well. To go through... This one in the very southeast. right here I had to go around and up, up this way so what do we find the sapphire key key number three all right next <laughs> Where I picked up that last key was here. So, yeah, there it is. It is the amethyst key. And I believe there's actually a second amethyst key. There are two different ones. So, uh, yeah, it gives you a little bit of leeway, but not much. On to the next key. <laughs>
Okay, so here I am in uh, this area over here. Now, what I'm, not, what I'm gonna find isn't exactly a key, but it's an inscription. There's an inscription engraved here on a mass cake stone. Theodorus. Hmm, what could that mean? Well, make a note of it, and I'm gonna kill this guy. Come on, dude, seriously. Alright, so it is important to make a note of uh, that name, Theodorus. Anyway, on to the next actual key. and a stone bowl came up on me. <laughs> Hello there. Luckily I have a weapon that will hurt him. And he has nothing, but yeah, dang. So, there you go. Just thought I'd show that off. But yeah, onward with the swimming. <laughs> just kept going too far and ended up all the way up here. He has quite the swim, but here you will find... I said you will find... Here we go, the Rubiconte, or Ruby Key. <laughs> you know what I'm referencing there, man. On to the next key. to find because it's not actually on a raised platform but where I am is in the very north there's a huge pit right here and you just cross it and go over here and you get another key and because it's all the way down there it's kind of hard to pick up there we go the diamond key 
one more key to go. Let's get it. took uh, this door, went a little bit west to this door, then headed north, and here I am. So what do we find? The Amethyst Key. So look at all these keys we got. You can barely see this one, but yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven keys. Seven freaking keys you need. Whew. We got them all, so let's head down to the second floor. <music> Is this going to be satisfying? Let's do this. Iron key. Gold key. Ruby key. Diamond key. Sapphire key. Oh, did I get two of the same key? I think I might have. I think I might have done. Amethyst key. And finally, this is the last key. I am the architect of this hall. My name is forgotten the best of time. Yet where, where there is no dust, where the river would speak, there is my name. Find this place and then return to tell me my name. Only then shall you pass this door. What is my name? And that's why it's important that you find that inscription, so you could say Theodorus. <laughs> Got it. Now, where's that piece of the Staff of Chaos? Let's go grab it. Oh, okay. And twice the oldest, three times the age of the Sphinx of Gazia, Agamemnus, divided by one ninth the age of the Sphinx of Canis, Igon left this world 26 years ago. What then is my age? Um, let's see. 29. Or 26 years ago. 108. I suck at math, so that's when I looked up. <laughs> huh. Uh-oh. That probably means there are homunculi here. Yep. Oh, I should have gotten shock resistance. Uh, homunculi like to uh, use lightning based spells. But here it is. Oh, let's kill this guy first. So he doesn't distract us. Die, die, die. Come on. Perhaps I could use some more agility. There we go. Killed it. And. Fastens itself to the other three in a flash of blue light. The staff is now half complete. All right. The staff is halfway done. So we are now finished with the halls of Colossus. But where are the other four pieces of the staff of chaos? Where's the next piece? Well, you just got to find out next time on Let's Play the Elder Scrolls Arena. Thank you for watching and have a good day.